Hello, hello, Mordimers here and welcome to the last day of Steinitz Memorial Tournament online organized by FIDE and Chess24.com platform uh, and uh, Steinitz Memorial is the Blitz Tournament so the players have uh, 3 minutes per game and 2 seconds incrementation per move so that's the time control uh, and today i would like to show you also final standings however first uh, i want to show you the game one of the games and there were a lot of games a lot 30 games every day and i have to choose from and i think i i choose pretty well uh some of my uh, followers you know uh stated that this was the best game of the tournament so if you don't know which game uh, it was about check this link this was the the best game of the tournament by one of my followers and uh, today i would like to show you i hope also one of the best games of the tournament uh, very instructive active and not really long there is some uh, opening trap so it's quite exciting everybody wants to know the opening trap so uh, definitely worth to watch it uh, so the game i choose for today uh, is between peter Sfiedler. Uh, yes, Peter Sfiedler plays in this tournament, he was invited uh, and usually he is the commentator for the uh, chess24.com platform but here he is the active player and he is doing really, really well. Um, Peter Sfiedler ranking, uh, Blitz ranking 2754 uh, and one thing to mention, Peter Sfiedler is actually 8 times uh, champion of Russia. Okay, he won the Russian championship eight times and he knows a lot, especially um, about the openings. He has, you know, incredible uh, encyclopedic uh, memory to the opening, so a very incredible person. However, he is 43 years old, so he is not uh, as active as he was younger, uh, but still in this tournament you will see uh, how he is doing. Uh, and his opponent today, Bu Xiangxi from China, he is 34 years old uh, and he plays uh, really nice in Blitz, he's ranking 2760, so uh, even higher than Peter Fiedler and he's gonna play as Black. So without further ado, let's see what exciting things happen uh, in the opening. So uh, Peter Fiddler opens with e4. We have e5 and now bishop on c4. Bishop on c4. That means bishop's opening uh, is actually invitation for the for the Vienna gambit. We have knight on f6 and now if knight on c3 we would have the, the Vienna gambit and that would be invitation for very famous Frankenstein Dracula variation. Very bloody uh, and I just commented a couple of days ago uh, the game between Alireza Firuzia and Levon Aronian. It was not so bloody because they uh, choose some, you know, uh, call lines uh, but still it was very exciting game and very nice attack so if you haven't seen that check this link uh, after this game very nice and remember Frankenstein Dracula variation after knight on e4 pretty impressive queen h5 follows you know with some mating ideas here uh, very sharp lines however here Peter Swidler goes for d3 it looks like very calm normal um, uh, development and now c6 so definitely preparing d5 uh, so this is still bishop openings uh, berlin defense uh, we have knight on f3 by Sfiedler and now d5 as planned bishop on b3 and now a5 uh, and here the most players goes for uh, a4 however uh, Sfiedler goes for less popular line knight on c3 and knight on c3 actually was played already, uh, for example, by uh, Gary Kasparov in Linares uh, in 1993 against Evgeny Baryeyev. Uh, and uh, Kasparov uh, managed to win that game. Uh, however, the, the line played there was bishop on b4. And this is actually the only line which should be played in this opening. And after a3, uh, bishop takes on c3, bishop takes on c3, a4, kicking the bishop to a2 and here black usually goes for uh, you know defending this pawn somehow uh, queen on uh, e7 c7 d6 even bishop on d7 this is all possible so that's the line which should be played and it was already played however after knight on c3 we have interesting trap uh, and this time bu shang 
fall into that trap and he played d4 very natural looking move and now white have to react somehow and you know what peter Spiedler did he played knight on e5 sacrificing his knight uh, and still what what black should play here is bishop on e6 bishop on e6 is actually the only move which could save the game but it would not be easy because after bishop on e6 f takes on e6 knight can retreat to uh, e2 and bishop d6 f4 white has a very comfortable position and extra pawn so definitely a much easier game to play uh, however at least black would not fall into big troubles like it happened in the game after d takes on c3 so uh, this was played and then Peter Spiedler goes knight on f7 attacking the queen and the rook and now what to play now uh, it looks like bishop on b4 it's still the strongest move here however uh, it's difficult to make the decision that you sacrifice the queen okay because you would have to play a very unbalanced game and uh, but that was probably the only chance for black for example bishop on b4 uh, sacrificing the queen and then um, the pawn could take on b2 with check okay bishop on d2 and now taking the rook um, queen on a1 and now king d8 and uh, bishop b4 a takes on b4 uh, let's say queen on d4 a king c7 and the game could continue and let's count the pieces what is going on here so both sides have the the rook uh, both sides has the bishop and both sides have uh five pawns okay so this is five uh, pawns let's say so uh what's on the board uh black would have the rook and two uh, knights for the queen and two pawns so white stands better here slightly better because the queen is in the center more active and now these pawns uh, could be really deadly here in the center so uh, definitely white stands better but this was the last chance actually for black to complicate the things uh, however we have queen on c7 more natural move uh, knight on h8 taking the rook and now bishop on e6 so locking the knight knight can ex escape now uh, we have b takes on c3 and now g6 so preparing for bishop g7 and uh, taking the knight uh, we have castle bishop on g7 and now knight g6 of course the the knight not gonna die you know for free so uh, attacks on g6 we have h takes on g6 and now peter Spiedler want to exchange the some material so he play bishop a3 very fancy way of exchanging the bishop so um bu shang -Chi, uh, accept that and he takes the the bishop on a3 and we have bishop on e6 uh, queen on c3 grabbing back some material and now rook b1 attacking the pawn so b5 and here d4 d4 so peter Fiddler set up another trap because this pawn actually is hanging but would you take this pawn uh, if for example queen on e2 is in plans that would be some nasty discovery a uh, very dangerous position so uh, and also queen on g4 it's even worse because after queen on d4 uh, queen g6 king e7 rook b on d1 attacking the queen so queen f6 and now uh, queen can takes on a4 uh, queen e6 and now queen h7 attacking the bishop bishop is under attack look at these rooks this is just devastating so uh checkmate is follow uh it's impossible to play especially with these pieces in the corner so uh, definitely not great idea to take on e4 free pawn but it's not uh but what to play as black actually believe me or not but a4 is the only move which makes sense here and uh, that's the hint because uh bu shang -Chi play knight on a6 uh, and after Peter Spiedler's move, he resigned the game. So feel free to pause the video and find the winning move for white. While I enjoy my cup of tea. Okay, ready? Not very difficult. Probably you spot it because uh, of this hint. So rook on b3 trapping the queen. And in this position, uh, Bu shang -Chi resign the game the queen has nowhere to go uh, the pawn is defended uh, these squares are covered so uh, there is nowhere to go and the queen is trapped 
So uh, that's what happened. Beautiful game, uh, beautiful lines, and uh, I'm very impressed that Peter Fiedler, uh, you know, still knows a lot of lines. And I love to listen to his commentary on Chess24. Uh, you know, when he has a live commentary, uh, very, very awesome, entertaining, and very knowledgeable. You know, he has he is he is like encyclopedia. And yeah, uh, I would like to show you the final standing. So here we go. And Magnus Carlsen, 12 points. In the third day, he had amazing performance. He won most of the games. And Daniel Dubov lost too many. He lost, I think I saw two or three games he lost. Uh, so um, he maybe he couldn't handle the pressure uh, but he still uh, managed to get the second place very very impressive just behind Magnus Carlsen and Peter Fiedler as you see third place uh, Peter is 43 years old so uh, definitely not the, the young like like others uh, and quite bad day for Alexander Grishuk you know uh, he got the last place and um, even David Anton uh, got pretty nice games today and he won I think two games so uh, he got seven and a half points at the, of the at the end of the tournament uh, and that's the final standing so enjoy you can see also the games uh, between the players and uh, yeah uh, pause the video if you want to see it for a bit longer uh, and of course if you like this video press like if for some reason you don't like this video press unlike and if you want to see more quality content press subscribe smash the bell button thanks for watching and see you in the next one